What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the Golden Mate Orion 1000. A very, very cool battery. We're going to put it through its paces. We're going to talk about all its features. We're going to go through the app and then we're going to give it an eco score. Let's get into it. All right, doing the capacity test on the Orion 1000, we see that it is at 100%. We have it connected to a 3000 watt inverter here, connected to our gauge here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. We also see on the inverter that it is fully charged and we're all reset. Now we're going to run our heater is pulling 750 watts roughly and this should last for just under two hours all right the alarm started to chime it's one percent left so we'll add one percent to our findings here one percent left on the battery and when we plug it in we see that this one went an hour and 36 minutes and it used 1,224 watt hours. We'll add 1% to that. This is the best I've seen so far. All right, we're about to test the max output of the Orion 1000. I have it hooked up to our 3,000 watt inverter. And we have several points of measuring. We have the watt meter, we have the inverter, we have the battery itself, and we have the Victron that's going to give us some readings. Let's go ahead and turn on the space heater. And we're going to put this, put the motor, and we'll run this for five minutes to see if it can maintain its max of roughly 1280. All right, we're getting there now. All right, there we are. We'll see if this holds for five minutes. Victron says we're pushing out 1400. The inverter says 1276, which this is 1295. And the battery itself says 1458. All right. So it's possible that could be true. And once it gets to the inverter, it's changing things around and see the Victron is also before the inverter as well. So this may be giving the more accurate reading. It says 1390. That's still saying 1450. This is saying 12 and some change because it's being converted from here. And that's also 12 and some change. So it could be that coming from the battery, it is more and then it's getting reconverted at the inverter but regardless let's see if this holds for five minutes now while we run this test to see if it'll hold for five minutes i just wanted to take a peek into the app uh, the app actually matches what the battery itself is saying uh, but even though it's saying that it's pu pushing out 1400 plus watts I am not going to use that number. I'm going to use what the watt meter says because when it comes to other non-smart batteries, that's the only way we can measure because the Victron is wildly uh, unreliable, it seems. But here, here's the app. You can see everything going on. You can see the temperature. Uh, let's go to Fahrenheit of the battery. We can see uh, the power going out, the amps going out, the voltage, um, the rated watt hours. And what's left, we could see the endurance time, which is the time remaining until empty. Very good app. Has some good information in there. All right, here we are. Five minutes is up, and it's still holding steady at 1,300 watts. All right, now as far as weight, the Golden Mate Orion 1000 is a heavy boy at 29 pounds, 8 ounces. Now, some things that I do love about this battery. It costs a little bit more but it has a lot more features than the average battery will you know use the wise as an example which is just a regular battery with a strap handle these have the handles built into the battery itself although i do prefer straps or handles like the power queen as well because you can carry it with one hand and while you can't carry this one hand it's already heavy i don't recommend it you will need two hands but 
it has the screen on here and it does give you quite a bit of information it tell you the watts in it tells you the watts out and on the, and then it has app support bluetooth it tells you a whole bunch of stuff which we've already covered and also another thing i did not show is that it has communication ports as well so lots going on which is which is what contributes to the weight here build construction looks very cool very solid machine this is like very durable plastic hard plastic whereas a lot of the other ones are kind of just the you know cheap kind of flimsy plastic but they get the job done as well but this right here is made for taking a beating now let's give this an eco score all right before we get into the eco score i just wanted to give you a brief overview of the testing results for the golden mate orion 1000 you can find it in this highlighted row here all right in terms of price the orion is priced fairly well considering it's just 15 dollars more than the power queen which doesn't have the screen and that screen is wonderful i enjoy being able to go into my phone but even better when you don't have to grab that you can just touch the battery and it'll show you everything you need granted you are still spending a lot more money for the same type of 100 amp hour 12 volt battery for those smart features and it gets a four in terms of performance this thing performs very well and it gets a five in terms of efficiency this has been one of the most efficient batteries i've ever seen and when you couple that with the bluetooth capability with the fact that it has an on board screen that is insane and it gets a five in terms of features i don't think i need to even explain that it gets a five has the most features out of any battery i've ever seen and in terms of warranty it has the industry standard five-year warranty and it gets a four overall value i really like the battery obviously and it gets a five for a grand total of 28 points completely knocking everything else down and moving into the first place slot amongst all other batteries on the list.